Hey, welcome to Color Up. I know a lot of you like these one hit and play with profit type strategies. Now for me personally, it's a little bit of a big upfront risk, maybe too much. But if you're a gambler and you can avoid that seven for just one roll, then this might be the strategy for you. All right, today's dice advice was submitted by Eric and he calls this squeezing the coin machine. Now it's gonna take $1,200 and this only gives you enough money for two shooters in the worst case scenario. So let's see how this strategy works. We're at a $15 table. We're gonna start out with a $15 bet on the pass line and we're gonna get some protection with a $3 any craps bet. So you get paid uh, 21 and we would lose 15 if a craps number were to roll. Once the point is established, we're going to basically use $100 units across all the numbers. So Let's say the point is a five, we're going to bet $100 units. And to make this proper on the six and eight, so we're at 540. We would have lost this bet here. And obviously anything above 20, you wanna make those buy bets. And then you can take max odds. So if we're on a three, four, five times tables, four times 15 would be $60, so we can do $60 in odds behind our five. Now this is our big risk roll, right? So we have a bunch of money on the table. If we can roll any number, let's say we roll the nine, we're gonna get paid 140. What that's gonna do is give us enough to pull down our bets to go across all the numbers. So, you know, like 81, $82 across. We're gonna throw in a field bet. We're gonna drop down to single odds and all that will be paid for. We'll have a small profit and then a great set of bets on all the numbers. Well, let me just set it up this way. So 15, 30, oh, there's a green in there, 45, 60, we'll skip the point, 75, and get our proper caps, 81. We'll do 15 in the field, and we'll just do single odds, my ones actually are out of red. Let me grab some red here. Single odds behind the point. So that's our setup. So even if a seven happens now, we've actually already got a profit locked up for the shooter, albeit a small one, but we do have a profit. We've got a lot of great bets up here with every number covered. Five, six, and eight are not in the field, so that's kind of a wash. But what happens is any number that hits, we're gonna press it up one unit. If we do happen to hit the two or 12, we're gonna use those winnings to press up our odds bet. And that's the strategy. You just ride it out until Big Red shows its ugly head. So hopefully you can just really start collecting some wins here and um, really just start kind of making the money, right? So let's test it out and see if we can avoid the dreaded 0.7 out. He likes to place at a $15 table, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 1,200. This is buy-in. And we're gonna drop that down the hole, never to be seen again. But you do get these chips, checks, that uh, you can hopefully win it back with. All right, here we go. We're going to start with a $15 pass and a $3 any crap. So let me get you two and change set up with any craps. And let's get a point established. All right, shooter, here we go. Looking for a point. Five is gonna be our point. So we're going to lose our prop bet and we're going to have to give the dealer 500 and $40 to go across. All right, so we'll get that set up and we'll make these buy bets. Hopefully your casino takes the VIG on the win only. We're gonna do max odds, which allows us four times 15 or $60. So let's go 20, 40, 60. And this is the big roll where you're clinching, right? Hate to lose this money, but you shouldn't be gambling like this if you can't afford to lose it. There's the yo, it doesn't affect us. We need to hit one of our box numbers. Any box number will do. There's the nine, that'll work. 
So 100 is going to pay 140. Dealer, take me down to 81 across. So let's say he's gonna keep one black chip. Send this out to you and uh, let's see, 81 is 19 and change. So that gets returned to the player. I have enough to get set up here. Well, not in my working stack, I don't. And we could pull, we'll do $15 in the field and we're gonna drop this down just to single odds. Clean up my rack a little bit here. And now, after that big scary roll, we've got nothing to fear, right? From here on out, we're gonna profit on every single roll. So here we go, let's see if we can roll some numbers. Four, easy four. So a quick field win and 15 is going to pay, play, pay 27 as a place bet. You can bump this up to 20, 25. Let's go ahead and make it a $20 and we'll buy it. And we'll rack some money here. All right, here we go. Ugh, we didn't get much profit out of that roll. So there's the seven. Down everything comes, but it's okay. We already have locked up a profit. So that's the, you know, you're risking $600, but then, you know, we only made what, you know, 20 some bucks or something. So if you do hit one of those 0.7s, it's gonna take a long time to recruit that. So that's the scary part for sure. I'm just gonna keep this stack here. I think I'm gonna need it. All right, we're gonna have a new shooter. Give us another try or two. So we'll get down on the line for 15. Let's get our $3 crap check. And looking for a point, here we go. Nine is gonna be our point. So we're gonna lose here and we're gonna to have to give the dealer 100 or 540 again. So four, five, we have the red 20, 40. We'll get set up. Again, max odds is going to be $60. All right, we're not scared. We're gonna roll a number, here we go. Six the hard way, six hard, there we go. So 120 is going to win 140. So again, dealer, take me down to 81 across. So let's uh, stack all this up. I'm gonna keep 100, give the player 19 and change. And happily set up the player here. Let's try to be fancy, do this with two hands, but didn't work out too, too swell. All right, we are set up. Now, as far as the player, we're going to do 13, uh, 15 in the field, and we're just gonna do single odds. And I, I don't know if I caught this last time, but if the, it ends in an E or it ends in an E, the five and nine, you want even odds or the odd numbers always get even odds. So we want to make that 16 or I'm just going to make it 20. Go ahead and rack this up. So now we are rolling risk-free and hopefully we can start collecting some money. So any number will do. Five, no field five. So we lose our field. 15 is going to pay 21. Let's go back in the field for 15 and we can increase our bet up. So we'll just collect $1 and bump up our five. So if we're rolling the five, six and eight, it's kind of a spinning our wheels a little bit at the beginning here. Eight easy, eight, again, no field. So again, we lose 15, we get paid 21, put 15 in the field, and we're gonna bump this up to a $24 bet. All right, here we go. Ugh, there's that seven. So really, we kind of only made a buck or two. Not much at all. So everything's gonna come down. It's 
not what we want to see. Puck is going to go off. We're going to have a new shooter. All right, so let's go ahead get set up again. $15 pass. We may have not won any because we did a $3 crap check. I forgot we lost that at the beginning, so um, we may not have won any that hand. So a big risk to just break even, but that's the strategy. But if you can get on a long roll, you got uh, good paid for bets. All right, new shooter coming out. Here we go. Let's see what happens. Seven on the come out. So we lose our three, but we get paid 15. That's a good exchange for us. Go ahead and get three back down on the crap check. Here we go. Eight the hard way, eight hard. So this time it's going to be 520 across. So four, five, 20 to the dealer, place it in the cum. Get set up across all the numbers. Again, this will be buy bets. We're going to do max odds. So five on a three, four, five times table, we can do five times 15, which should be 75 in odds. And now we got to get past this one roll. Any box number will do. Shooter four, easy four. There we go. And I forgot last year I was talking about not getting profit, but on this initial roll, you do get a profit. So here we're going to get a better profit because we hit a four. So 100 is going to pay 200 for a $5 VIG. So 195. And then we're dealer. Let's go 81 across. So let's get all this out to the player. I'm going to keep a black and again, give 19 to the player. That'll be enough to get us set up here. And what else do we want to do? We want to do a $15 field and we're going to drop our odds down to single unit odds. The rack's a little bit of a mess here. We'll clean it up later, but we are now rolling risk free a little profit in our pocket. And here we go. Oh, seven. Get all that work and all set up for that quick seven. So we're going to give this one more try and then I'm done. This is the annoying part. Setting them up, take them down. I know a lot of channels will just replace it. I don't like to do that. I like to go through the whole motion, taking them down. It's kind of a pain, but you kind of see, you get that hurt when you have to take it down and set it back up. All right, we're gonna have a new shooter. These are the lucky dice right here. So let's go $15 pass, $3 crap check. And here we go, looking for a point. Dice off the table, no roll. Let's get the same die. All right, here we go. Hopefully that'll bring us some luck, bring us a crap number. No, five is going to be our point. All right, so I'm going to mark the five. We're going to lose our crap check. And now we need 540. So three, four, five, um, 25, 40. 540 across, please. You got it. There we go. 120 on the six and eight. And we're gonna do $60 in odds behind the five. And here we go, we need to get past one roll. Six, that was a little scary for a second, but we got it. So 120 is going to pay 140. Dealer, 81 across. All right. And I'm going to give you 19 and change. Keep this black. So this comes out to the player. And I'll set this up for hopefully the one last time and we can have a big roll here. $15 units, $18 on the six and eight. We're going to drop this down 
to single odds, and we want to make it even because it's a five and 15 in the field. So every roll, we're going to win something. And if we hit the two or the 12, we're going to use that money to increase our odds bet. That's how his strategy works. All right, here we go. Let's roll a field number. Good field number. Four, easy four. We like that. Field's going to get paid 15 here. 15 is going to get paid 27. Dealer, let's take this up to a $25 buy bet. And we're going to rack some here. Last time we did 20, this time I'm going to do 25. I think I'm going to roll some numbers here. All right, here we go. Yo, 11 field number. So just a quick 15 is going to win 15. I'll just rack it. Four, easy four. There we go. So we're going to get paid 15 here. Let me grab some green checks. And we're going to get paid 50. We got to throw in the VIG. 50 for one here. And he says that every time you roll a number, just take it up a unit. So what does a unit mean? Does it mean $15 units? Uh, you could take it up five, whatever you want. So I'm going to say, let's make it, we'll take it up 15. Um, no, we'll take it up five, just a simple. Just up, just a teeny bit. We'll rack some more. We need the profit. So usually when I'm, whenever I'm betting numbers, I like to tell them what it is. Take my bet to $30. Because if you say unit, well, does it mean minimum table? Does it mean, because a unit, really minimum would be, you know, any increment that's properly paid, which in this case, you know, $5, right? I guess technically even a dollar. Eight, no field eight. So you just got to clarify that with your dealer. All right, so we're going to lose 15. We're going to get paid 21. So we'll replace the field. And this is why I just did $5 here, because now I can, instead of pulling from my rack, I can increase this one unit and take it up to 24. All right, here we go. And there's that seven. All right, we won a little bit on that last hand. All right, this is all going to come down, and we'll count it up. And because we avoided that uh, the bad number, the 0.7, we should have a profit. Question is, how much is it, and is it worth that big risk to get the profit? All right, uh, we came in with 1,200. We've got five. There's 1,100. 200, there they're buying, so the rest is profit. Make sure this is all cleaned up here. So 200, 225, 250, 275, 300. So let me do buy-in and I'll move this over here. So this is 300. 325, 350, 375, 400, 425, 435, uh, 440, 445. So 1200, 13, 14, 45. So we'll color up to a pumpkin. 14, 400, 25, 35, 40. There we go. All right. So we did make some profit there. So $200 profit, that's pretty good for, you know, a short session. But again, if you lose that 600, you got to win multiple times to recoup that. So is the, reward, the risk versus the reward? I don't know. That's up to you and how you prefer to gamble. So whatever it is, aggressive, conservative, whatever you like to play, good luck on coloring up.